Salutations, humans. In today's episode, we enter the dragon. Not quite that one, but this pocket dragon, which happens to be the inspiration for the best tech Nogard, designed by the talented and creative Gregoris Grabarski. The name Nogard is actually dragon spelled backwards. Some of his design shapes and ideas spawn while Gregoris enjoys one of his pastimes playing video games. As a freestyle type of designer, his main design goal is to keep the lines flow from blade to handle. His distinctive design style absolutely speaks to my inner sci-fi fanboy with releases like the Webra, Irida, Ornetta, and many more. With Gregor's creative ideas and Bestex's precise engineering, the results of their collaboration is straight fire. Now we dive into some specifications, then move into ergonomics and action, and end the video with some final thoughts. Let's get started. Starting with the blade, the sloping sheep's foot blade measures about 3.4 inches in length with a cutting edge of about 3.375 inches and is made of premium Bowler M390 stainless steel. Blade stock is just under 3.9 millimeters and flat ground and the behind the edge thickness is around 0.02 inches. The deployment hole is about 15 millimeters in length. Blade finish for this particular example carries a satin finish with a black washed accent. The blade rides on ceramic bearings and steel washers and is held together by finely milled titanium scales which are skeletonized with red accent shredded carbon fiber inlays on both sides and measure 4.625 inches in length and around 0.51 inches in width when assembled. Hardware are all T8 torque screws all around with the exception of one T6 screw that internally secures the mill titanium clip. The pocket clip and frame lock are right side and tip up carry only and the knife weighs in at about 3.8 ounces with an overall length of 7.99 inches. If the plain gray titanium or red carbon fiber doesn't quite spark your interest, Bestec has also got you covered by also offering a number of no guard variants. I did pick up the Bestec no guard from White Mountain Knives and I've always found the online shopping experience with WMK smooth and the customer service excellent. Knives are packaged well in a cardboard box with peanuts and arrive in a timely manner. Feel free to use the 10% store-wide coupon code GEOGEO for free shipping and no taxes for purchases within the United States at www.whitemountainknives.com. Before we move on to ergonomics, let's do a quick size comparison between the Nogard and Spyderco PM3. The Nogard is a medium-sized knife that is slightly longer in length but actually shares a similar blade height profile to the PM3, so expect the Nogard to fill that front pocket. So how does the Bestec Nogard feel in hand? Let's take a look. Bestec Nogard surprisingly feels really comfortable in hand. When held in multiple grips, I was able to get a full purchase on the handle with no discomfort. From the saber grip, to the pistol grip and pinch grips, the knife was easy to manipulate and handle. When I first saw the knife handle profile, I was a bit worried about this section causing a hot spot. But once in hand, my worries were alleviated as my middle and index fingers sat nicely within the curvature. I do have medium sized hands, so people with larger hands and fingers may experience a different result. Let's see how the knife looks in the pocket. The no guard slips easily and when in the pocket stands proud. Coming out of the pocket is smooth and nearly effortless as the tension on the clip is just right. Now let's check out some action. <laughs> Finish him. The best deck no guard has two primary methods of deployment, a back flipper and a finger hole. Though the flipper tab is minimal, just enough jimping provides enough grippage for successful blade deployment. The blade does deploy out smoothly both ways, but I do think the detent could be made just a tad bit stronger in the case with my production sample, especially with the beefier blade stock of the no guard. Now the blade doesn't drop shut but does close smoothly with some slight flick of the wrist. After playing with the knife for a few weeks and tuning the knife with a clean and lube session, I find that no guard is breaking in nicely. I would rate the overall action a 3.5 out of 5. Lockup is solid at about 30 to 35 percent with no vertical or horizontal blade play. Out of the box, the factory edge is sharp and cuts well. Check out Stasa 23 YouTube channel for an excellent look at how well the best tech no guard M390 steel performs. I naturally gravitate towards knives that have a unique design signature and flowing line. After having owned a few knives designed by Gregor Skrobarski, the Nogard immediately grabbed my attention. The knife may not be for everyone, but the Bestec Nogard blends both beauty of form with practical functionality. I really appreciated the little thoughtful details that went into the creation of the knife. 
From the symmetry of lint on both the frame lock and show side scales, to the frame lock relief being milled on the inner side rather than the outside of the scale. Some other nice touches were the hidden internal pocket clip screws and the finely milled stone wash titanium finish. However, there were just a few things that I thought could be improved. Some parts of the blade could have been softened and rounded out just a bit more. They include the blade's spine, the inner edge of the scale where the thumb lands to unlock the blade, and the edges of the deployment hole. Overall, the fit and finish is great and speaks to the excellent production prowess of Bestec. I personally enjoy having the Bestec Norgard as a part of my personal life collection. And if you found the video helpful and would like to see similar content in the future, please consider subscribing. That would be awesome. Thanks for stopping by, be kind to one another, and catch you in the next episode.